Our topic is pain of abandonment. One of the most painful experiences in the human life is being abandoned. People and even animals cannot pass through if they are abandoned. We feel abandoned when we are depressed, when we feel rejected, when we feel pain beyond all measure. Our meditation comes to us from Isaiah 54, verse 7. For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with deep compassion, I will bring you back. My brethren, the reason for many of our problems are not outsiders, but ourselves, our lifestyle, our diet, our behavior, and evidently our sins. You are not born to be abandoned. Rather, live a happy life. Have you any time felt you are abandoned? Have you any time you felt rejected and isolated? Is there any time you have lived a lonely life? God has done three things for you not to feel rejected or isolated or abandoned. Let's see those three things. For us to be encouraged that I am not lonely, I'm not rejected, I'm not isolated. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 6. God has called you. My friends, loneliness is not divine. When your family ignored you, when your friends despised you, when you yourself disliked you, God has called you to be his side. He has chosen you for a purpose and put meaning in your life. You are not an accident. You have intention for your life. I'm not sure if you have discovered your purpose for your life or not. But please be ratified. You have purpose and your life is meaningful. Number two, Isaiah chapter 54, verse 10. God has known you. Because we cannot bear the pain of abandonment, God is coming behind you to preserve you with the covenant of peace. He loves you more than nature. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Your negative thoughts should be transformed into positive thoughts. Your life should be imbued with the hope in Christ. Isaiah 54 verse 17, the third point for us to feel we are not isolated. God has defended you. My friends, many may try to overtake you. Many may try to oppress you. Many may try to accuse you. But God will defend you as Jesus is your greatest and mighty defender. My friends, are you unable to have any plans for your future? Do you think your sickness will make your family hate you? Do you think people have left you in the crossroad? Here is the prophecy for you from Isaiah chapter 54, verse 13 and 14. All your children will be taught by the Lord, and great will be their peace. In righteousness you will be established. Tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be far removed. It will not come near you. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you so much for your marvelous grace that we are not alone. We are not rejected. We are not isolated. Our life is not a failure. Thank you so much, dear Lord. We are not abandoned. Rather, we are found. Thank you so much for your calling, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you.